Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing the August premium unboxing for BoxyCharm. If you guys haven't seen the base box unboxing, I will have that linked down in the description box below. And let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment down below, and let's go ahead and get started. So this is the premium box for August. This is what it looks like when you open it up. Again, you'll notice that it's a premium because it'll specify right there. It has the the puffy protection so in this box it didn't it didn't they didn't send me a little postcard not postcard but a little information card which specifies like everything that I received in the box and how much it costs so I had to do my own research for that so if I am looking down it's because I provided myself with my own notes. That's how organized I am. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So let's get into it. So I was super excited. I will do my most favorite product that I received in my box first. Fenty Beauty. So we received the portable contour and concealer brush. So I have their cheek, cheek brush, cheek and contour brush or something like that. Um, I use it for their cream blushes. It's super good. I want like all of her brushes, but control. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is super cute. Again, it has like Fenty Beauty on it. And then you push down and it has her like signature pink bristles. Super soft, very nice. Like again, great for contour, great for like concealer. Very, again, very soft, doesn't like hurt under your eyes, which is like your most like sensitive spot on your face. So this retails for $24. So it's a precise, effortless, sculpting, magnetized, always on standby brush. So I guess what it means by like magnetized, it just like you put it on and it clips, right? So you know it's on for like a good time. So nothing's gonna get in there. As far as washing, I'll, I'll have to see how great it is, right? Because I did have a brush like kind of similar to this and it wasn't, it wasn't great to wash. Then I eventually threw it out. But I won't be doing that with this one because I, I love Fenty Beauty. Okay, so the second thing that I got in my box was the Dermasil Dermalect. I always want to say Dermaselect because it has like elect, you yeah. know, extra lash volumizer. So this retails for $49.99. I've never heard of this product before, but I think I'm going to really like it. So this is the extra lash volumizer. So you can use this for both your lashes or your brows. So it's supposed to, it's formulated to target thin, weak bristle, 
brittle lashes, unbeatable coverage, and volume. So it's not really a mascara. Like if you want it, you can use it like before night, like before night, before going to bed. Or if you want to use it during the day where you're not going to wear like much makeup at all and you just want like to, I guess like hydrate your eyelashes or tame your brows, you can just use this just, you know, but this is what it looks like. So it's basically, kind of looks a little watchy, but um, yeah, just a regular like lash applicator. It's a big uh, compact. So it'll last you like a long time. I tried, I started using it on my, on my lashes, which I'll probably continue to just to see if it like actually fills in the spots that I'm missing and grows in the hair that I've plucked off, which probably not, but you know, once you, once you hit like a certain age, those hairs just like never grow back. So then you're stuck with like, you know, like thin, thin eyebrows from like high school days, which is great. Okay. So the next product that I received in my box, again, like the premium boxes, like I said, it comes with products like well, like well-known brands like Fenty Beauty, um, milk makeup, right? So it gets me like really excited to see those brands. And I know that I only pay like $35, right? Whereas like you go to the store and you pay like, again, this is in American dollars, but $22 for this eyeliner or like $24 for this brush, right? So it's well worth it for me. Well, well worth it. So this is Milk Makeup, their Long Wear Gel Liner. So I did open this and I did break it and I was very sad. But this is in the shade PTO and it's sparkly. So on one side it has like the smudger and then on the other side it has the product. So this is a, I'm sorry, I broke it. This is a really pretty, like almost like metallic liner. It's so beautiful. It's like, it's almost like a lilac shimmer shade. It's beautiful. I'm definitely going to be wearing this. I can even use like the Natasha Denona palette that I used today. I used the, um, do I have it here? Anyways, it's like, yeah, it's like a, a shimmery like purple. But if I do like a purple look, I can definitely use this liner and it would look gorgeous. So I was super happy about this. So this is highly pigmented waterproof liner hydrating with avocado oil and hyaluronic acid, which is really good for your skin. Um, so smooth skin, so no liner. So this glides without pulling or catching your skin. So great, because you don't want that. And it's long lasting, so that's perfect. Um, the next thing we got is a Max Satin lipstick. So 813 in the shade Mocha. So this is $19. I feel like I get a lot of like reds and like, but I guess it's fall too, right? So you're gonna get like, like darker fall time shades. Almost like reminds me of like pumpkin spice lattes or something, right? So gorgeous color. Their lipstick doesn't smell great. It almost smells like, I don't know, kind of weird. So we got 
a MAC lipstick, another great company. And then we got the Ola, Ola, Ola Hendrickson, Ola, 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 anyways, Mr. Hendrickson, Hendrickson, we got his, um, hopefully it's a he, uh, banana brightening face primer. I actually, I ordered from Sephora and I got his, his like under eye brightening banana cream. So it kind of goes along with this. Just like a little sample. I have not yet used this. I will definitely be using this to see how it is under my makeup. But you get a fair amount of like primer product in there. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna open this one and if it's no, it's not gonna let me. I was like, is it if it's the same like spout thing inside? Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's just like a banana yellowy. It feels nice on the skin, not like greasy, oily. It still feels like you have something on there. It smells really good. Yeah. So I was excited about this too. Like I don't really have much from him. So this retails for $38. Instantly brightens, improves, and extends makeup wear. Blends imperfects. Blend, uh, blurs imperfections, hydrates. Instantly brightens, impro improves, and extends makeup wear, blurs imperfections, and it hydrates. Bing, bing, bing. So I'm definitely going to be using that. We'll see how that works with different foundations as well, right? Because not everything goes together all the time. And then the last thing that we got is the Ciate the editor palette, New England. So this retails, I had to do the conversion from pounds to USD. So, so it's 38.54 um, USD. So this is an 18 piece eyeshadow palette. So high shine foil shimmers, vivid metallics and statement mattes. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty. I have it upside down for you guys. I haven't tried anything from Ciate London. The only thing that I've tried from them, which I like absolutely love when I did use it, them was their nail polish. I actually wanted like one of their like Christmas like Christmas um, I wanted one of their Christmas gift sets where they had a whole bunch of nail polishes in in one set and then that way I could like try all of them but uh, I didn't get that maybe one day the other thing that I want from them is they have like these lipsticks and then like you press down and then it like then there's glitter. Glitter everywhere. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like on the outside. All plastic. That doesn't bother me. Like, I like their little design on the outside. And then when you open it, there they are. So very colorful palette. Again, I can see like a lot of shimmers and foils. There are some mattes. So you have two, three, four. It's hard to say if that's, yeah, I think like only like four mattes, which isn't a lot, but I can, I can work with it. I think I can work with it, but it's super pretty. 
I really like it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have some of these palettes and what you think of them. Like, is it a good brand? Would you like repurchase any other items? You know, if you have a palette already. So these are cruelty free. Um, they're 18 months. So that's not too bad. We have a nice big mirror. The color story is beautiful. It has basically like every color in there. We'll, for shits and giggles, we'll do like, we'll test out the gold. We'll swatch it. Again, no primer. Hopefully there's more of a pigment when there's primer. Again, we have like so many palettes that we're gonna do so many eye looks with. Okay, so that was six items. So we got the Ciate London palette. We got the Ula Hendrickson banana primer. We got the milk makeup eyeliner. We got the milk, no, we got the matte, MAC lipstick. We got this eyelash and eyebrow volumizer. There we go. Thank God I'm falling asleep. And then the Fenty Beauty contour and highlight brush. And I believe that's it. That's six, two, four, six. That's six right there. So now we're going to tally everything up to see how much our box was actually worth. Okay. Oops. I know my password. So 24 plus 49 plus 22 plus 19 plus 38 plus 38 54 Okay, so our box comes up to 190.54. Let me just double check something. So recently, what I found out is that the value of the box went up. So I think the box, the regular boxy charm, I think was 125. Then the boxy premium was 175. And I think the changes start in September if I'm not mistaken, because that doesn't, because they're always like over. So the 190 doesn't make sense to me if the premium is 215. So my thoughts are is that they increased it like for September going forward. But if that's the case, which you'll notice, because it's usually a trending factor, um, so we're $15 over it if it was 175 Okay. So overall, I think the premium box was great. I really like the top products that I think I'm going to really enjoy is the primer, the Fenty Beauty brush, the eyeliner, and for shits and giggles, because I don't really know them, I'm gonna say the palette too, because I think the palette's pretty awesome. 
So these three, four things, I think I'm gonna really enjoy. And even the other two, I'm not really like disappointed that I got them. I think they're probably really great and I am gonna use them. Overall, BoxyCharm, you have yet to disappoint me. So thank you. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and comment down below. Let me know what you guys had received in your August premium box. And don't forget to follow me on my social media sites. So my Facebook page and my Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.